How you can learn to tail whip on a scooter. Step one is to get a decent bunny hop like this. Now it definitely doesn't have to be as big as mine, just as long as your front wheel comes off before your back wheel. Now we're going to be practicing the motion of a whip and spinning the scooter around, keeping it as close to our knees as possible. One of the most important parts is the flick, so make sure you get a really good one of these. Now we've got this far, we're going to practice flicking the deck, putting our foot down and then landing back on the scooter like this. You can do it with your back foot or your front foot, preferably I found my back foot easier, but you can do what you like. Now we're going to practice flicking and landing with the tail whip. This is going to help us when we actually go for it. Now you've come this far, try and put all of those steps together and start practicing landing on one foot. This may take a while. Now we're just going to try and fully commit. Just remember that this definitely won't be a first try thing and this will take you a while to learn. However, once you do learn this, it's a very fun trick to mess around with and add new combinations to. For example, a whip 180, which I also didn't get first try. Also, I forgot to mention that once you learn this, you can also learn it in park. This is very fun after you get the hang of it. Overall, it just opens up a whole new door of new tricks, and it's just a great trick to learn in general. I really do hope that this video helped either you or one of your friends learn your first tail whip. I hope you progress in scooting, and I'll see you in the next one. Also, please subscribe so I can share my scooter journey with you. And also, it's free, so why not?